Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamid Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the King of Jordan, His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein, on the occasion of his country's Independence Day. His Majesty the King wished the King of Jordan abundant health and happiness and for Jordan further progress and prosperity. He praised the strong bilateral relations and cooperation in all fields. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived in the UAE yesterday on a visit to meet the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Majesty the King was welcomed at Abu Dhabi International Airport by His Highness the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi, Vice Chairman of Abu Dhabi Executive Council, His Highness Sheikh Hazza bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Interior, and Bahrain's Ambassador to the UAE, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Saif bin Zayed Al Nahyan. After that, His Majesty the King and the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi held a meeting at Emirates Palace and discussed the fraternal ties between the two countries and a number of topics of common concern. His Highness the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi welcomed His Majesty the King's visit and paid tribute to the long-standing relations binding the two countries and their people. The two sides reviewed the solid historical bilateral relations and keenness to further enhance them. His Majesty the King expressed pride in the cordial, deep-rooted ties between the two countries and praised the level of cooperation and coordination in various fields. He highly appreciated the UAE's supportive stance to the kingdom and its people and hailed the UAE's leading role at the regional and international levels and its role in defending Arab interests and causes, promote the joint Arab action and maintain security and stability in the region. His Majesty the King highlighted Bahrain's solidarity with the UAE in any security measure it may take to protect its security and stability. His Highness the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi underlined the significance of the coordination and cooperation between the two countries within the framework of the GCC to serve the progress and prosperity of the GCC countries and overcome challenges. After that, His Highness hosted an iftar banquet in honor of His Majesty the King. <coughs> The Deputy King, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa visited the Majlis of Khalid Al Sharif and the Majlis of the Khazaroni family in the presence of His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, accompanying His Royal Highness to the Majlis. The Deputy King highlighted Bahrain's commitment to advancing the development across all sectors under the leadership of His Majesty the King. He outlined the collective efforts of Bahraini citizens in overcoming various challenges, noting the key role they play in the kingdom's comprehensive development. He highlighted the multilateral ties that exist among Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, the UAE and Kuwait, noting the continual support they extend to the kingdom across all sectors. The Deputy King went on to add that the challenges faced require integrated efforts and partnerships to address them efficiently as well as maintain regional security. He added that the principles of the National Action Charter and the Bahrain Economic Vision 2030 continue to guide Bahrain's development initiatives and strategies. He welcomed the ongoing cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities, noting the importance of expanding this cooperation to further benefit citizens. He highlighted the importance of reinforcing the private sector's role as the primary engine of growth while promoting greater innovation and competitiveness. The Deputy King also highlighted the important role that Ramadan Majlises play in strengthening social connections among the Kingdom's society. <coughs> 